you know, people talking about people talking about TikTok, the app. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's like a, it's like a it's like Vine but worse. I didn't even think that was possible. Uh, it's also a shitty song by Kesha with a dollar sign. I think this is the real deal right here. You know what we know about TikTok. We know about <laughs> we know about that. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think I can set him somewhere where he'll like he'll actually um where he'll he'll sit up. So I think I'm gonna have to set him like down here for now. I don't think he's <laughs> Tonight's game is a more nebulous concept. It's not a, a direct game per se, but it's a uh, it's a type of I hesitate to call it a show, but it's like it's its own thing. And we call it games for smart people. But this week we're going to we're going to shift gears. We're going to go to a different website called uh, Khan Academy. That's K H A N. It's not K O N. It's not like a so like I always joke, there's not an online school that's named after me. I'm not that important. It's K H A N, not uh not K O N. But Khan Academy is kind of like Brilliant where you can you can go and you can you can learn about various subjects. Don't get me it's a great it's a great site and compared to Brilliant, Khan is actually free. You can go there and Read about whatever. They got all sorts of math, but they also have uh, other school subjects. They got biology. They got social sciences. They got history. They got those kinds of things. Here's my here's my profile. Uh, like I said, I put my name down as Draco Khan. I think that's how you spell it. Oh, here's the ones we did most recently. We did circuit analysis. We did counting. We learned how to count. Uh, they showed us how to count with squirrels, and then they gave us horses on the questions. I'm like, I don't, I don't know nothing about counting horses, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I was looking at high school biology. Now, they're also, yeah, sheep, that is, <laughs> we also learned my sequel. And the emote that he just put in chat, that is from Khan Academy. It's the Khan emote. The first thing I wanted to go with was high school biology. And the reason that I did this the reason I picked, I mean, okay, well, I mean, we got, we got biology, we got AP biology. Why are you talking about high school biology specifically with, you know, whatever. The reason for this is because it's kind of a, it's kind of a running joke. Uh, whenever, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this like a weird uh, Tumblr SJW thing, but whenever people speak critically about, you know, transgender matters and shit like that, and they're talking out of their ass or whatever. People always say, "Oh well, you know." When people say, "There's only only two gender," you know. The retort from the other side of the argument is, "Well, here comes Mr. High School Biology here to set the record straight." So I would like, <laughs> for the memes, I would like to take a look at High School Biology, so we can set the record straight. <laughs> What's included in this in this unit test? Scientific method, data analysis. Experimental design and bias, uh, biological macromolecules, I don't know what the hell that means, water and life, pH, acids, and bases. Well, we did the, we did the Gator Unbox on alkaline water, so I'm feeling pretty confident about that last one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Which of the following best represents a water molecule? Now, I'm expecting one of these to say O-W-O, but... <laughs> so, A seems correct... No, it's H, H, fuck, H2O. No, A is incorrect. It's O and it's two H's. It's this, it's, it's O. Oh. <laughs> this, chemically, A is something totally, I don't know what the fuck A is, but it's not water. Whatever it is, is not water. Bevstrad, <laughs> I know you said it's H2O, bro. But the, here's the thing, it's H, it's the little two, and then it's an O. And I, it, I had a brain fart because when you write a full size number next to a chemical compound, I believe it means two molecules of the compound. So the subscript letter numbers and the regular number is totally different. So I almost answered the question wrong because I'm a fucking idiot. A biology student wanted to study the effects of fertilizer on the growth of tomato plants. He placed four of the same type of tomato plants into separate containers, each containing the, separate, the same amount of soil, each pot received a different watering solution containing varying amounts of fertilizer. Table below shows the average height by the end of the week. So, okay. Plant one with no fertilizer. 
This is called the control. That one only got only got three three centimeters. It's, it's not a grower or a shower. Uh, and then you know the one with a little bit of fertilizer got slightly bigger and even more got you know basically what we're trying to say is enzyme works. So what is the independent variable in this experiment? I think that would be the amount of fertilizer. Shit, this is like a science fair question, man. God, I don't even remember this. Okay, the height of the plants. Fuck. The type of tomato plant is not a variable. The amount of soil is not a variable because these are all the same. I think the height of the plants, I think, is, is what's called a dependent variable because it's dependent upon the amount of fertilizer. I could be explaining a correct concept, but using the incorrect vocabulary word for it. God, I hate science. Bill Nye, you lied to me. You said it the first thing out of your mouth in the fucking theme song is science rules. You lied to me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, go with my gut. Okay, good. <laughs> is that okay? Good. I was correct. The wait, no, wait, fuck. You know the yeah. The, okay, the height of the plants is the dependent variable. I got okay. Oh, good. pH. <laughs> the water that we were drinking on the stream was somewhere in the ballpark of like right here, right below baking soda. Uh, I have a bottle that's above baking soda getting close to 10, which we're going to do another a follow up video on. Uh, just it's not listed here on the pH scale, but 10 is laundry detergent. I have a 9.5 bottle of alkaline water that I'm sure is going to taste like utter trash. Uh, so the, the scale below shows the pH levels of various liquids. Which of the following substances is a strong base? Well, that would probably be bleach. It's the ace of base, actually. Uh, and it's, it's a good thing to drink when something, uh, something really bad happens. All right, which of the following mono, mon, mono, monomers? I don't know. That doesn't seem like a word. That's not a word that I know. <laughs> which of the following monomers? are correctly matched with their polymers. <laughs> Glycerol and fatty acids and nucleic acids. Monosaccharides and polysaccharides. I'm going to preemptively mark this one because these share the same, uh, uh, <laughs> the same prefixes. <laughs> Amino acids and uh, lipids. I don't think this is correct because I think aren't aren't amino acids aren't these proteins and lipids are fats that's something different I, I don't think that one's right but then again I don't know what they're comparing and then we got nucleotides and proteins I don't I mean these are words that I've that I have certainly read <laughs> at some point in the past I'm sure I took a vocabulary test in science and I read this word at some point. But I got it marked on B. And you guys in chat seem pretty confident that it's B. Based solely upon, <laughs> upon the prefixes of the words. Let's do it. <laughs> it's just that simple. An ecologist calculated the average yearly rainfall in a local valley. His data is organized into the table below. So this is the month and the rainfall measured in milliliters. And the question is literally, in which month was rainfall the heaviest? Ha this is a high school level question. This is like, <laughs> this is like straight up some, some second grade shit. Okay, so the biggest number is March. Okay, which part of an amino acid's basic structure gives it its unique functional characteristics? Okay, I know I'm, I'm going to read that sentence again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that sentence again. And it's going to make just as much sense the second time around as it did the first, which is to say none at all. So, um... <laughs> which part of an amino acid's basic structure gives it its unique? I mean, it could be the, ami uh, the amino group, the R group. The carboxyl group? That sounds like a bad fursona name. I'm not going with that. It also it also says coo. I don't know. 
Why is it C O O H and not C O two H? I don't understand chemistry. Uh, Sound Pizza says it's gonna go with the R group, and he also gave me a. Uh, oh no, it broke again. Hang on, did it? There, okay, there we go. He gave me one to go with it. Just that one light on the sign, the one bit. Uh, thank you, thank you, Sound Pizza. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll go with R group. Let's see. Hey, there are 20 unique R groups which differentiate and define the 20 unique amino acids from one another. Oh, well, the, the, the more you know. I don't know why I'm playing games for smart people. I dropped out of fucking high school. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if Darkseid Phil dropped out of high school, but he seems like the type of person who did. Which property allows solid ice to float on liquid water? Well, that's um, its density. Which is A, but let's take a look at the answers that are the answers that are wrong. High specific heat, a high boiling point. You know, I don't think I don't think ice has a high boiling point compared to liquid water. I believe I believe they have the same boiling points. <laughs> also high. What is that's that's relative. A high a high boiling point, it boils at hundred degrees Celsius. Like fucking metal boil, like becomes molten at you know thousands of degrees Celsius. That that's high, but water being high at a hundred is relative to like dry ice, you know, boiling at you know fucking room temperature. You know what I mean? It's density, also adhesion. Ice doesn't stick to shit. <laughs> oh, ice sticks to everything. That's why you don't lick ice, Scott. You're right. You never lick a frozen pole. That's I should have. Sheeps, he's got he's got those street smarts I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? This right here, this this is book smarts. Sheep is like, don't lick a frozen pole. That's something you ain't gonna learn that in a book. You ain't gonna learn you learn that from making that mistake. Uh, dots. A biology student wanted to determine if there is a relationship between resting heart rate and body height. She gathered information from twelve classmates and constructed the graph below. Which of the following is true based on the data? Looks like a whole lot of fucking nothing to me, buddy. So let me just hit that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I do think... I do think there's a possibility that, the, that they might be related. But you'd have to have a bigger sample size than 12. <laughs> <laughs> a scientist tests the water in a local pond and finds that it has a pH of 7.9. Well, that scientist better be bottling that shit and selling it as crazy water because... That's about the ballpark we are in. Choose one answer. It is basic. It is acidic. It is neutral. It is both basic and acidic. God damn, this is some dumb shit right here. It's basic because it's it's more. And the reason why it's basic is because it's more than seven. So, there you have it. Look at that. That's another thing you only learn from watching here on, on Gator Box Pixel Hat Pros. I prefer Diamond the Water. Also, welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Well, there we go. Read them and weep. We just got five skills leveled up. We got nine questions correct. We got we knocked them out. How many? Look at this. Energy points for effort. Uh, One thousand twenty-five energy points for effort. That's almost that's almost a megabyte worth of effort. It's a megabyte. It's a little bit more. One thousand twenty-four and a little bit. That's a science joke, which means maybe we should take a computer science course next. I don't know. But <laughs> so we can retake the test. I don't know. Now, what is this? Mastery points for correctness. How did we got every single fucking thing right? Nine. Look at this. Read them. We have nine out of nine. But we only got four hundred out of five hundred mastery points. I feel like I showed up and owned this joint. Why you rip? Why? I I believe you owe me one hundred more points, Khan Academy. You have shortchanged me. What is this? Four? What is this? Fucking Microsoft points? You only get four hundred points. And that's five dollars, and you do that to make it seem like I'm not spending so much more money. But fuck off. I know about. I know about the Microsoft point scam. <laughs>